I know it might seem like a little uh, unnecessary, but I think it's a really good habit that we can actually practice this rotation before we enter the boss's room. Because some of it is not at all dependent on being in that room. Some of it's just dependent on timing of people moving. Okay. So if everybody's with me looking at the picture or the sheet, um, so this is like from the perspective of like running into the room. This is not like on the map. So like if you're facing into the room as your character, right? So uh, at the entrance, the that like kind of light blue square in the middle is where the bosses are all standing in the very beginning. Um, immediately they are pulled into the four corners, right? So Thane is going to be in the front left corner. This is from the perspective of us looking into the room from the entrance. So Thane, who's the guy that drops the meteor, he's going to be in the front left corner. Mograin, who's the tank buster who does a fire dot on the single target tank, he's going to be in the front right of the room. In the back of the room, we take Lady Blamo, who's the one that spawns the void zones. She goes to the back left. And Sir Zeliak, who's the guy who does C'Thun style chain beams, he's going to go in the far back right of the room. So that's where the bosses go. Um, the main mechanic of this fight and why we separate them, I know you guys probably watched the video, but I'm saying it again, is they apply marks. And each mark is specific to the guy that you're standing near. So if you get four or th three rather marks from Thane, the guy in the front left, who drops the meteor, you need to get out of him because the fourth mark is going to hurt you quite a lot and the fifth mark is going to kill you. So that, that happens for each of the bosses individually in that kind of light blue square, which is on the front of these steps of the little pedestal they all stand on, you'll see it when we go in there, is a safe spot where none of the marks can hit anybody. We have to use that safe spot to uh, basically rotate people in and out of each of these corners. So what's happening, um, you see all these assignments, right? So we have, for example, when the fight first starts, let's look at the tanks first. Necro, who's going to have a skull on him, is uh, going to be in the A tank team. And so you see, um, oh shit, Dan. hold on one second. Yeah, yeah, all right, no, it's correct. Necro is in the A tank team, and he is on uh, Mograine for the beginning. So he's going to start Mograine. Uh, Pork Warrior is on the A tank team for uh, Thane. So he's going to be in the front left in the beginning. Uh, Imphi is on the A tank team for Lady Blamo, or, or rather Zeliac, I'm sorry. Uh, so she's going to be going to the back right of the room first. And uh, Buster Scrug is going to grab Lady Blamo and take her to the back left real quick. So everybody who's marked with a B, you are paired up with the person above you, the tank above you. So Bolvai, you're paired up with Necro. Vinaba, you're paired up with Pork. Protanks, you're paired up with Imphi. And Jerizu, you're paired up with Buster. Um, what happens is that everybody who's got a B by their name, so that's Bolvai, Vanaba, Protanks, and Jerizu, you start the fight in the safe spot. So you just run to the safe spot and you chill for a second. Uh, when team, and we're going to go through the full tank thing first before we go into other classes, right? We're going to go through this whole thing. So at three marks into the fight, once the, the marks don't start until 20 seconds. And then they'll tick about every 10 seconds. Once the mark three goes off, whoever is B, you need to go to your partner tank and you need to go taunt that horseman off of them. Um, taunts work, so that's good. But you're going to have to go in and like exactly when three hits, you're going to start going in. The, on Thane, you might have to wait like half a second for the like the meteor to drop because that meteor distributes damage between people, so you can never leave the tank alone. So you guys on the B team, you go in and say, tag, I'm in now, bro. And then everybody who was tanking the first round, A, you go to the safe spot and you wait. Three ticks, one, two, three. On that third tick, you don't go back to the side you started on. You're going to go to the opposite, uh, person on like the front or the back half of the room so for example those brown uh a and b's on the front so necro he's going to start the fight on mograine 
three after three marks, he's going to go to the safe spot. After three more marks happen, he's not going to go back to Mograine. He's going to switch over to go to Thane because the reason is Mograine's marks will not have fallen off yet. Z Zilliac. What about Zilliac? Mograine and Zilliac. You switch vertically on tanks. That is not the video no. I showed everybody. It's not, okay. Did I, I miswatch that? Maybe I mixed it up with another video. It doesn't really matter, but okay, fine. So we're going with that. Mograine and Thane tanks are switching. Thane and Mograine are your, like, danger ones. And I put beefier tanks on all the Thane and Mograine people. Does that make sense? Yep, I'm confusing it with the Thane surge strat. Yes, yes you are. Yep. So it's going to be, for, for the bees, it's going to be safe spot, boss, safe spot, other boss, safe spot, and then it just keeps going back and forth. Yeah, like back that. and forth like that, ping pong. All right, just making sure. On the back side of the room, the same thing is happening, but only between Blamo and Zeliac. Tanks, do you have any questions about your role? Uh, one question on the video. We uh, there's like the little dais that they start at. On the videos, it showed to be at the foot of the dais. Are yes. We, is that so? We stay in front of it, not on top of it. That's correct. In the front, I I will okay. go there in the beginning, but it's in that front of the the little dais. And by the steps, that's the safe spot. Okay. Okay. That's all I got then. Yep. Okay. Um, the first bosses that we kill in this fight are Thane and Mograine. We leave uh, the back two bosses up until they are the only two left alive. So what, what happens um, is that DPS, you're basically going to be following a tank associated with you. So you'll see the little teams that I marked here. Um, so you see Team X. Uh, you're, you're basically following Pork Warrior, okay? Team Triangle, you're following Bulvi. Team Skull, you're following Necro. And Team Diamond, you're following Vanaba. You might ask, what about those other tanks in the back? We don't DPS those until the first front two are dead. So we're going to just be doing the DPS are going to be in that rotation with these tanks in the front until Thane and Mograine are dead. We might want to have somebody log in so that we don't get teleported. Sorry. Yeah, guys, do a log in right, log out real quick so you don't get teleported. Probably got teleported. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Wait, we all did. No big deal. No big deal. It's fine, guys. Just log out. Just log out. Understanding this fight is more important than... Uh, having to run for a couple seconds. Okay, so let's move on to healers now. DPS, do you have any questions before we move on? Cool. Um, um, I do have one, one quick thing. The video is specifically, yeah. you mentioned it, but the, the meteors, I think the melee and tank all need to stay in absolutely two seconds until they get hit with the meteor. Yeah, thank you for, for reminding me of that right now. That or the other group comes in and you all move together out. Uh, Rogues, I didn't mark you guys, did I? Yeah, generally, once once the third tick goes up, the people in the safe spot start moving in, no matter what. Don't start moving out until after the meteor happens, after you've got three marks. That's when you start moving out of Thane. Um, so for the, the two rogues, sorry, I didn't mark you guys. Um, we're going to do uh, Bungus. You come with Team X in the beginning. So you're going to start on Thane with Pork Warrior. And uh, Rattlehead, you start on Skull in the beginning on Mograine. So the people that come from Skull, when you guys get there, that's when I'll leave. Exactly. When, when the relief team comes in, Pork will, will leave. Because otherwise... Somebody could be the odd man out and get individually meteored, and they just die. Because you guys are familiar with how that works from AQ40. Hey, I Small. got one quick question of if a tank is resisted. Uh, I think it said don't mocking blow it or anything like that. What's the plan? If it, 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 it works. It works. But it's only going to buy you six seconds. Because once you're... Mocking blow wears off, it'll go back to whoever it was. So you'd have to mocking, challenging, and do a taunt again. Hope you're not resisted. 
Okay, so that, so use those and. And if all else fails, uh, the other tank might be able to pop a lip. Okay. But that's like clutch on the fly if cooldown's not up. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay, so for each group, there's a warrior in it for your DPS that's following the tank in. I want you guys, when you go in with your tank to DPS, to first disarm Morgrin. That's your primary thing. It's, you know how we do Sunder on first global? You're going to disarm as soon as you go into him. That helps a lot for tanking him. So it'll be in my group. Sabelle, you do the disarm. Then I'll do it before we switch. When the switch is done for Bovi coming in, it'll be Star Fox. You'll be disarming. Then Bovi will do it so on and so forth, basically. So I know we did the diagram. Oh, and hold on, we are not done. Okay, guys, we got to talk about healers. Um, so healers, you guys have a different pattern than either the tanks or the DPS. And in particular, uh, you guys, there'll be three of you on each corner at any given time. However, you guys stagger how you move. Rather than all leaving at once, like the DPS do, only one person is gonna leave at a time. So in the very beginning of the fight, on Mark 1, that person who is um, on heal team one, which is Tawny, Jim, Fadi, and Thunder Moo, on that first mark, you'll immediately leave your first position and you'll go clockwise to the next boss. So let's use um, Tawny as an example. She is gonna start the fight on Lady Blamo because that's what's indicated next to her name. So she's gonna run back into Lady Blamo's corner and she would be healing, um, she'd be healing uh, Buster right away. And so when, when that first tick goes off, just using, Tawny is an individual example. She is going to leave Lady Blamo and run over to the Sir Zeliac group and start healing the tank that is there, fighting Sir Zeliac. After that one tick, she's going to stay at Sir Zeliac for three ticks before moving again. Now let's go to uh, heal team two real quick. So like this is a uh, hot donkey drew dot one endured you guys your first movement happens on tick two of the fight um so using hot donkey in, as an example he is also starting on lady blamo but when tick one happens he stays there on tick two he will then rotate clockwise to sir zeliac and then stay at sir zeliac for three ticks so you see how it, it starts on tick two, you see those numbers? Then he'll move again on tick five, then on tick eight, then on tick 11, and so forth. And it's not gonna say five and eight. That you really just need to keep your first number in mind. What, because once you move the first time, you're just moving at three. Yeah, like that's exactly. What that means. Like you don't need to remember five, eight, just remember your first number. That's what matters. Yeah. Heal team three has it the easiest because they don't move for the first time until the third mark, and then they just move every third mark. So they're the most kind of intuitive. So once, question, so once you uh, rotate over to, like, say, Zilliac in, you know, my team, where do we go from there? Back to Lady Bullmoon? Nope, you keep rotating clockwise. Every three Constantly, ticks, okay. you move clockwise. So let's, let's take you as an example, uh, Dord. You are on heal team two starting the fight on Mograine because he's what's next to your name. So you'll start the fight, you'll go into Mograine, tick one happens, you stay there healing the Mograine tank. Yep. Hold on, I just minimized my shit. Um, once tick two goes out, it's your time to move. You say, I'm heal team two. You will then move to Thane. When you stay at Thane, you stay there until tick number five, three ticks after your initial movement. And then you're going to go to Lady Blamo. Stay there for three ticks. Then you're moved to Sir Zeliac. Stay there for three ticks. So after 12 ticks, having from when you move first, you'll be back at Mograine. It's a pretty gotcha. long time. It's like a long circuit that you healers are taking.
So we only have 12 healers listed on that. That's the primary order, but we have a couple backups, right? Um, in particular, we have Lady Akuma as a backup. And I th think that's it. That's our 13th healer. So right now I have you following Renil, but let me think if there's a better way to do that. So actually, um, Renil, or rather um, Lady Akuma, I want you to go to the safe spot in the beginning of the fight, and we'll use you as an oh shit button. Um, basically, if somebody else dies or gets in trouble or messes up their rotation, I'm going to tell you where to go. So be flexible. You can also heal people that are running by, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. you can totally do that. Okay, sounds good. Chris? Yes. So, uh, how do you want the healers to handle once the uh, one of the bosses is dead? Because the mark is still going to be going out, so do you want them waiting in the safe zone for three ticks? Or do you want them moving to the next one? You gotta split in the safe zone, you can't go into you the safe zone. You have to, yeah. Yeah, there's not yeah. an option. So yeah, if the boss that you were going to go to next is all of a sudden dead, go spend that time that you would have been on the boss in the safe zone. Because if you mess up your rotation, you're going to end up back on one of the bosses you were at before with ticks still on you, and it's going to kill you. And by the way, just because a boss is dead, do not go hang out in their corner. When they die, their spirit is still there, and it will still apply marks and attack you. So you need to go to the middle in the safe spot. You might want to log back in again to make sure you're not ported a second time. Are you going to explain uh, what happens after the first two bosses are down? Because I know the... It's a pretty it's a little... chill range. Yeah, yeah so, so when when the first two bosses go down, um, if you're confused at what to do, basically any time that you would have gone to that boss, go to the safe spot. Otherwise, I, I really don't want to start trying to flex in, um, like, oh, Melee, let's go walk around the corner and go over to Zeliac. Like, that's that's too risky for these early attempts. If we get Thane and Mograine down, it's okay if we take a, an extra minute or two to kill Zeliac. Yeah, it's a 15-minute so, enrage. It's forever. Yeah. So, Melee, you're never going to go in on Zeliac. Ever. At any point. Ever. Except for the tanks. <laughs> That that's, tank is the only person. And also the shamans, um, you guys cannot put your totems in between Zeliac and the healers. You guys have to heal at absolute max range for that tank. And so like when you arrive at the Zeliac chain like spot, like everybody will be standing in a certain place. You'll never have to like all at the same time figure out where you're supposed to be. Uh, range 10. Could you mention the uh, like threat with the marks, the threat drop off? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So uh, it, what I've been told by other people is that threat is the easiest way to fuck this fight up. So it is not a race at all. These guys don't have tons of health. This is all about keeping the pattern. So it is so incredibly important, and especially casters. I know we like to nuke stuff big and all. If we fuck up and pull it, it's going to end up marking all the people in the safe spot and then we're done like there's just nothing that can be done after that and on that note tank positioning is incredibly important because we don't want any overlap of the marks yeah so like you guys you're going to be tanking it as far ass into the corner of the room as you can yes yeah, so toddy on on zeliac like really don't worry about um on totems on celiac melee are not going to be in there zugging him so it's only going to be benefiting the tank and it has a chance if you drop it in the wrong spot to chain all the healers so it, it's really not necessary by the time we're dpsing celiac um we're gonna have spare people and extra dps on it so yeah like the only person attacking celiac through most of the fight is a tank so he doesn't need a wind fury for tank rotations on him, please pay attention. See when he's going to chain lightning. After he does it, go in. Don't do it before he's going to do it. All right. So everybody has their assignments. I would like to do some some kind of brief practice outside of the room in the little circle. Yep. All right. Everybody log on real quick. 
two, one, mark three. Melee, go ahead and get out. 